After a week of focusing on foreign policy, John McCain and Barack Obama have turned their attention to the economy, and they're looking for help from some of the biggest names in the world of business. Barack Obama met with his team of economic advisors Monday. This group includes leading figures from business and labor, former cabinet secretaries and former Fed chairmen, Democrats and Republicans. But there's one who couldn't make it and had to put in his two cents by phone. Warren, are you on? I'm here. I'm here. Warren Buffett, the richest man in the world. Despite his billions, he says the rich are undertaxed. I think we ought to take a little more out of the hides of fellows like me. Obama wants to end the Bush tax cuts for people making more than $250,000 a year and use the money for a tax cut for the middle class. John McCain is also tapping the minds of business leaders, including Carly Fiorina, former CEO of Hewlett Packard, and Meg Whitman, former head of eBay. They brief reporters Monday on the importance of tax cuts for business. Small business is the engine of growth in this economy. The two candidates trying to one-up each other. Each one wants to demonstrate that he's prepared to lead the economy and he's got the ear of some of the top thinkers in economics. But even the best minds don't have surefire short-term answers for high gas prices. Touring an oil field in California Monday, John McCain talked about his newfound support for increasing offshore drilling. There are some instances within a matter of months they could get, be getting additional oil. But ask Barack Obama's experts and they'll tell you it will take at least seven years. And of course, it's not just gas prices. There's the housing crisis, the struggling stock market, job losses, and now record-breaking deficit. It's going to take all the experts that John McCain or Barack Obama can find. Maggie? And then some. CBS's Chip Reed in Washington. Thank you, Chip.